it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel on the very last day of Plamas. I believe it should be Christmas Day today, so if you celebrate a happy Christmas, hope you have a wonderful day or you did if you're watching this back when you have time. But I thought this would be a perfect day to have a big old haul. I've been keeping back some of this mail, so this is actually this first section and intro I'm filming on the 5th of November, so should we have plenty of stuff in this haul to look at and just chill if you need something to put on and just chill out on Christmas or any other day after that if you're just catching up. I hope you've been enjoying Planmas and I hope you enjoy this very last video for it. The big old sticker haul, so let's get straight into it. Everything will be linked and timestamped down below. But let's get into the stickers. I have this little order here from Stick with the Plan Co. And these are actually like Halloween stickers, I think. Um, I think I ordered them at the end of um, September, but I've been holding on to these at my UK address just because it's easier. Uh, and first we have this really cute little journaling card with her characters in autumn. And we have this as a little freebie. Some of her newer um, spooky stuff. I got uh, what I've been mostly using the ha during Halloween this year uh, was her stuff from last year. So it's just going to keep going around. <laughs> So actually she brought out these mini sizes of her squidge and I had to pick some of these up because I love how small they are. You can see them with my um, fingernails here. And um, yeah, I just really like the size of these. And first of all, I got these highlighters and I thought they'd be cute for like drawing. <laughs> like drawing work, even though they're highlighters, I feel like they still would be really cute or even like paperwork or taxes. <clears throat> And then we have Squidgemon because there's a new Pokemon game coming out. Um, I don't know which color I'm going to get, but I thought this would be cute to mug playing those. And they're just really cute, just for marking any Pokemon game, really. Then we have uh, Does Painting. I thought these were so cute. And I have the bigger sheet of this, but I definitely wanted the tiny versions. <clears throat> Same with Squidge Visits the Museum. I have the bigger sheet of this, but these are a lot better size. And I definitely plan to go to museums soon again. Then we have Goes to a Concert. Again, I have the big size, but this is a much better size. And it's super cute. I love how you have like actually being at the concert and then you can do like getting merch, or, um, buying tickets, all this little like Scooch with a tattoo and guitar. I'll probably use that to mark when I see Sabaton. Because <laughs> that makes me think of Tommy Johansson. Um, and then we have Squidge Takes Notes, which again, I thought I would use for work. But I just want a small work. And then finally, we have Squidge Loves Podcast, which I think would be perfect for marking voiceovers. And I definitely needed a smaller sticker for that. And I like how they're neutral. So those small ones are great. And I, but I think she's made her overall stickers smaller. Not the laptops, it seems. But she did make a smaller version of her spooky pens. Um, I've been using the much bigger versions. They're like, I think the bigger versions are like almost the two of these together. Uh, but these are really cute and more pastel colors. I just love like the themed pen for like doing work theme wise. <clears throat> and then I got a spooky laptop. I actually can't tell if these are new or just um, I have another copy now <laughs> from last year. And then we have Halloween mugs. I thought these are really cool. Love the different mugs there. I could probably use this during, um, you may have already seen it. I might have used that for Copy Monday during Seasons Creepings, but who knows? <laughs> You've probably already seen that um, spread, but maybe not. I'm not sure. Either way, that was my little order from Stick With The Plan Co. and loved all of it. I have two orders from Paper Shire. Um, yeah, so let's get into them. I got two orders 
two freebies and two different A5 cards, which are super cute. We have more of a back to school one. So this is probably the older one. And then this is more of a um, Halloween making jack-o'-lanterns one. Super cute, love them both. Now let's look at the um, freebies. So exciting, she has some more like in a little package, which is cute. So first we have all oh, these really cute um, journaling cards. I think I, she has a vlog up of designing and printing these off. Or well at least like getting them and putting them away. So planning is my drug, super cute. And I love this Pantone spooky bread one with the spooky puff up. Uh, pizza that's so cute and then for the freebies um, we have the Instagram freebie here which I was so excited about because she drew a little Galadriel oh my god I love it from Rings of Power so I'm definitely putting her in I saved her for my um, my final the season finale spread so I'm gonna go put her in but we've also got a little Elvis here I've been putting off watching the Elvis film so eventually I will see it. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. And just some other pop culture stuff. We have all orders. We have these cute box scenes. Then we have 20 pounds. And we got these like cute little trick-or-treaters. And then we have 40 pounds. Which are these sort of divider boxes as well. So super spooky freebie, um, freebies. And then I think this is a different month, or a different set. So let's get it open. So first of all, we have a cute vinyl here with, or at least I think it's a sticker. And it's super cute. It's like a little ghost with reading, and I love the um, shattered glass overlay. And we have a different card here, keep calm and plan. Real cute. And then a different Pantone, this is Magnificent Mugs. So this is super fancy and detailed, love that. And is this like, um, it almost looks like a wax melter with this down here and it's like a teapot. <laughs> Maybe it's just warming up the teapot for tea, but that's that one. And then this freebie, we have the Instagram for you again, but for this is different pop culture stuff. So what are we got in here? I guess that's Disenchanted. Pinocchio, um, Black Panther Avatar. I'm not sure what this is. It makes you think of Zelda, but it's probably not. <laughs> you like the queen here. Probably won't really get any use out of this sheet, but still really cute. <clears throat> and then the All Orders freebie are these chubby animals. So cute. And then we have the 20 pound freebie, which is Oh, it's like a gingerbread here, so like, um, cafe stuff. Really adorable. So those are all the freebies. So let's get into the actual orders now, and I think this is the older one. <clears throat> so first of all here, I've got these, um, Wacky Holidays. Yes, this is October, and I'm mostly, I'm not going to use them as Wacky Holidays, but... They do have the days here separated, but these are um, cut by themselves, like not connected. So I thought these would be great to have like just random <laughs> stickers in her designs. They could be used for all sorts of things. I love the Black Cat Day, Animal Plush, Plush Animal Lover Day. That's so cute. But yeah, I thought these would be fun just to have as random stickers of different designs. Then we have November, and I love how Sax Day, she did the Eurovision viral sax guy. <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh, but there's so many cute little ones in here. I've never actually looked at them. I just like, I'm going to put them in my cart. Those are all really cute. And then we have December. Um, oh man, some of these are really tasty. Bacon day on the 30th, for sure. <laughs> Maybe I'll just like put these like the labels into the days of the week in like my monthly, but then keep everything like the actual stickers from in general use. I don't know. That could be fun. 
Um, and then we have, I got another sheet of school essentials because I love this sheet. I love the cameras the most. The cameras and the iPads I use a lot. So I got two of those. Then I got more new stuff. This is a doodling. I thought this would be cute for like a different kind of drawer. I got fan. Oh, this is where she had a whole series of different book stickers. So I made sure to pick up most of them that I could. Um, I think this is when they're all back in stock. But this is fantasy books. Love the castle popping out. And fantasy is probably what I read the most. So then we have freezing, which is probably going to be useful for this upcoming winter. And, you know, Europe's energy crisis. Although I don't think it's too bad here, but uh, it gets freezing anyway. Uh, and then we have horror books, which would be great for Halloween next year. Like just marking reading with horror themed books, you know. Then we have non-fictional books, which I thought would be... Well, yeah, it's what I used to do. I used to read non-stop non-fiction. So I thought that'd be fun to have those. And they could go with any theme. Then you have romance books. I'm not really a romance reader, but I thought these would be fun to use, like, for reading in February and stuff like that. Uh, then we have sci-fi books. This is a really cool design. <laughs> and then I also love sci-fi books, so, you know. Then we have a day off, which is really like all my days <laughs> between work. This is me. <laughs> Not even just day off, but love that. Like the chocolate and the phone and the fries and the donuts and the laptop and the chips. Yeah, it's pretty much my life. And then we have classical books, which is actually probably the closest to my like PhD days. But I love those. Those are really pretty and would be great, especially uh, you might see these during my, you've already probably would have seen these during my November spreads because um, they're going to be perfect for my themes in November. Then we have thriller books and these are just all look really fun and again just more fun book themes. Then we have Black Cat Chilling, and I love how there's books, there's coffee, there's it's painting here that's so cute on the laptop. So I could use all of these, honestly. I might even go back and get another sheet. I don't know. Oh wait, I did get two sheets. Ah! <laughs> Jesse is smart. And then, so two of those, and then we have Floral Witch, which again, pretty useful actually, like for reading. And then the pot you could use for like making soup or dinner. Real cute. <clears throat> and then we have Witchy, so it's like, the bunny is a little witch and that's just so adorable. So cute. So that was that order. Um, just so much stuff from Paper Shy because I've been saving it up. I finally bit the bullet and did all the ordering. So next we have some more wacky holidays. We have January. Some really cute ones in here. Play God Day. Alrighty then, I will. But uh, <laughs> appreciate a dragon day. Which dragon should I appreciate? Obviously, it has to be Ancaligon the Black from Silmarillion. He's a big boy. Oh my god, Australia Day. What? I guess it's a wacky holiday. Mm. It is January. So that's like, nah. <laughs> uh, that'd be hilarious to use this sticker when I go back on um, a trip. Possibly going back next year for a trip, um, so that'd be fun to use that, but ew, Australia Day. No, that is not a wacky holiday, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're watching this, Eddie, um, it's, it's, yeah. We don't, we don't celebrate Australia Day in this whole household. <clears throat> Should really be called Invasion Day, but anyway. Uh, but then we have February, <laughs> Spunky Old Broads Day. What? <laughs> There's some funny ones in here though. Clean your computer day. Oh, we'll probably need that anyway. <laughs> There's some cute ones in there. And then we have March. Um, we should have some cute ones too. I love buzzards day. It's a cute little buzzard. Oh my god, goof off day is like a, um, a, a clown. <laughs> National Joe day. 
Those are pretty fun. I love that stack of waffles. That's amazing. I think I'm actually about to make some waffles, so that could be useful. Um, so what I ordered, we got winter playlist because I'm loving these playlists, these seams ones. They're great for just marking listening to music during a season. They have winter desserts, which look really tasty. Love those. Then we have warm winter outfits. I just love like the two buns together all all bundled up. That's that's luck and I going to get post during snowy season. Then we have focaccia because we're obsessed with focaccia. Like it's just the best bread ever. So delicious. So I love those. Then we have marshmallow treats and those are really fun. I thought this would be a good like coffee Monday during Christmas. And then we have a spooky desserts. So, you know, I had to pick these up for next year. But those are all really, really cute. I love the cupcake designs. But that is everything I got from Paper Shire. Two giant orders. <laughs> love Paper Shire as per usual. Uh, I love Zenny. She's amazing. But yeah. That's everything I got. I got a little order from Planner Hannah and I tried out her custom quotes. I just got two pages of the same quote just so like in case there are any issues with the foiling I'd have like all perfect quotes. You know, it pays to be, um, you know, I just thought I'll buy two just in case. Also I can use them in future spreads. But I'll show you what I got. First the freebie of the journaling card where she writes her name. And then I got the um, planner, the normal freebie. I'm not sure what kind of foil this is, like a tortoise shell or something. Um, it's like a Halloween one. And then we have the Scribble Prince Co. one in the Shattered Hollow. Super pretty. And then I got these in um, Shattered Hollow to go with my um, I'm a fake spread because I'm supposed to be seeing a band on the 29th of December uh, called Blind Channel and I wanted to get some quotes of their songs because I thought it was fun like having those emo um, quotes but then I could have quotes of my own songs and I got these in Shattered Hollow because I thought they were like uh, really pop and I have a little bit of Shattered Hollow to go with the sparkly hollow that it comes with. Um, I will just say, first of all, I, I do like, like the foiling's pretty good. I think if both of these sheets, the U has, both has issues, but not that much. You, you can't see it on the camera, I don't think. Oh wait, maybe the U is not, oh. Let me have a look. So the, actually this is perfectly foiled. This whole sheet here. And there's just a little bit of black on this U. So I probably wouldn't use this one because I'm I'm very picky with my fold, but this sheet is really perfect. The only downside was this is um, incorrect. <laughs> um, so it's like, I walked through fire, show how survived, when it's actually somehow. And I did check my inbox, um, I did check my order, and I did write the, the right words. I actually copy-pasted it from their lyrics site. <laughs> um, so, yeah, sadly that one's incorrect. So I won't be able to use that one, but that was a really good um, lyric from there, Song Alive and Burning. So that's um, too bad, but all the rest are correct. We have Put Your Middle Fingers Up, <laughs> which is from this song that they did at Eurovision. Um, and I thought that'd be good for like New Year as well. And then Your Idols Betray You, Your Heroes Will Fail You, Cause We Are No Saints, and this is one of their newer songs, and then from their old album, this is like the emo one. <laughs> it's kind of scary how good it feels to feel nothing at all. Uh, but it's too bad this one says show how instead of somehow. I don't know. I'll try to show you better. As you can see there. Which is too bad. I'm sure if I um, message Hannah she will correct it. But yeah, that's too bad because I got two of them that are incorrect. But. Otherwise, they look really pretty, and I love the fonts that she chose for all of them. Um, I don't love all her fonts, so uh, I, these are all fonts that I really like. So I think overall, it came out really well, and it was so fun to get quotes 
from my song favorite songs from Blind Channel, but <laughs> so these are definitely going in my Blind Channel spread. And that is everything from well, if their concert happens, because it might not. But um, that is everything from Planner Hannah. Next up, I have an order from Plan With Me Stickers, Erica Marie Plans Shop. And this actually um, is related to the Blind Channel. What order do you want to put this in? Maybe put the bougie before that. Uh, but this is actually related to the Blind Channel spread because I really loved this hand-drawn style of stars. And she sent me this package um, for free of these sort of a bunch of her underlays and she had these falling star underlays and I was like oh my god I would love this like in a whole bundle for my I really wanted the bottom washi of it and she brought a whole bundle after my video and I was so pleased I had to pick it up <laughs> because it's perfect and I love a ton of this stuff I'm going to mix it in with the planner choco um, but I'm so happy getting this bottom washi now because the bottom washi I had wouldn't fit um, what I had. Like it's, it was an older platter choco bottom washi so it's too thin. So yeah, I'll, I'll just go through this, what I actually got. So we got some freebies here. All right, so this was the, oh my God, look how beautiful this pink is. That is like a beautiful pink. We have some Halloween October freebie. I love the vintage font. Then this is the 35 order freebie in a glittery gold. And we have thick thighs and spooky vibes. I have this amazing song on my playlist called um, Thunder Thighs. That's what it makes me think of. <laughs> and then we have Peace Love uh, Boo. And then Hocus Pocus and Spooky Season. So those look so cool. And then we have 50 and $100 freebie. Very kind to obviously throw these in for me. But these are actually her icon stickers. They're on glossy paper. They look really nice. And I like the size actually, like not too small. But you have a bunch here of like um, autumn baking. So you have like a bundt cake, eating a pie in the dish, the, the pie, the cooking, and then the cookbooks. And then here, this one is like a um, planner girl, so we've got like the memo washi tape, and this says, note to self, you've got this. Really cute. And then of course, I picked up the falling star bundle. So you have the full boxes here. I think, oh, I really love this style here with the line and the background, and I love this falling star one. Again, like, um, I'm not a huge fan of this kind of design where it's got a ton because I feel like it really hides the art underneath, but I do love this star design. Um, and it, this board is really fun as well. So you also have the two double boxes and all of the um, glitter headers. And then I love the, um, the toolbox is a simple line, always it looks fresh. And you have a bunch of icons and the um, which are a really nice size and design. This is all in sparkly hollow. I thought because I'm mixing the sparkly hollow and the shattered, and then we have the date dots which look really nice. I do like her font. So we have a bunch of scripts here. We have a bunch of works: laundry, happy mail, cook, appointment, workout, groceries. You got everything you need here. I love how it's got walk and delivery, organize, watching, so that's really fun, I love those. And then we have the bougie boxes with the beautiful star, and this is what kind of started all, and I was like, oh my god, I need this, these stars for my, um, in Sparkly Hollow. And here's the beautiful bottom washi and the, um, whole reinforces too. I'm definitely pulling this into the spread. I just love, I feel like this goes perfectly with sort of the emo battle or as Blind Channel called himself, a violent pop <laughs> kind of um, aesthetic. So that's everything, and it's all perfectly um, foiled. Like, I see like no errors at all, no black. 
beautiful. So that is everything from Plan With Me Stickers and I can't wait to see what else she comes out with. Um, there's some really cool New Year's Eve stuff that I didn't pick up because I had these other quotes but I'm definitely going to look out for more cool vintage um, quotes and things. So this is more of an art um, artist Patreon bundle but it's a bunch of stationery and extra goodies. So I wanted to show it to you because I love Sonny Stegman and I feel like um, since I started sharing her she got a lot you know, more popular in the planner community but I wanted to show you her, her October Patreon rewards and this time I actually got, I used to get just the lower tier but this time I actually bought the top tier because um, I wanted all the items that come with it so let me open it. This comes in this really fun um, envelope. Oh, so you can kind of tell that I picked up this full set for October because it is Monster High themed. And I do love the Monster High dolls. I just love their design. Like, it's just so up my alley. <laughs> so I had to pick this up because I wanted all the stuff for it, including like the A4 things. And first of all, let's do these big items. We got this whole weekly planner notepad and look how cute it is, oh my god. I think the only downside to this is that the weekend is one, um, well rather it's half <laughs> a little thing here. So I think I would change, if I'm going to use this the way I do use it, which is um, I like to put my memory plans in here so then I can just read off the one little page uh, while I do my filming my memory plan with me. Um, so I think I would just put this as Saturday and then we'll put Sunday down in the notes. I think that's how I can use it but it looks so cute and you get a ton of them. <laughs> I just look how cute that design is. I think her name is Frankie. But yeah, love that. And then we got a little um, keychain, acrylic keychain. I assume it's got um, a covering on it. Uh, I can't be bothered looking for it, but uh, this is of the vampire character. Really cute little keychain with the matching clasp. And then we got this washi tape, which you got like the full, it's like a vertical one with full Frankie. And you have like the, um, the different other elements that she included. So super fun. Let's get into the flat goods, <laughs> the stationary goods. Well, these are already all stationary. What am I talking about? Um, what I would really love to do with this is do a Monster High themed planner setup. Especially with those new, um, like the new SBC edit from Print Pression because you can fit whole journaling cards in it and everything. So that would make it so much easier. But the cool thing about this is the A5 print. Now if you have those um, A5 top loading um, plastic dashboards that you can put stuff in that uh, Rose Color Days did for Jumbo Planners or A5 Wide. These, oh, isn't it even for A5? No, it's A5 Wide. But it fits an A5 journaling card in there perfectly and actually because it has room for the plastic pocket, but also um, where it actually like goes onto the rings, it, A5 tends to be the perfect size. Let me show you what I mean in my current planner. So this is what this is the old Sonny Stegeman A5 print, and look how perfectly it looks in the front of my planner in these one of these dashboards so I kind of nudged um, Andrea to nudge Kane to see about making those um, himself for the FIY because I know um, Rose Color Days doesn't sell them anymore I don't think she's restocking them so I have a few that I can use but and if you have them and you haven't been using them in your A5 wide ring planner, though that is a tip for you. And you know, look at these beautiful, you can use any A5 print in there. 
I love this. I think it'd be so pretty in a planner as the front cover. Yes, this might be my, I think I might use this whole theme in my 2024 planner. Because um, I have a different theme for my 2023, but then we have this beautiful, like normal 4 by 6 Look how cute they are. And it's actually a postcard. I love that. That's so cute. And then this is like the little thank you card that she makes up for each Patreon mail. Just a close up of that print. Um, but yeah, you could put this in the pockets. Or you could trim it down actually and fit it into those different SPC edit pockets. Then we have some vinyls. Well, I end up with two Frankies. That might have been a mistake. She might have accidentally grabbed two, but now I have two. And look at her shiny. Oh, wait. Oh, she included two. Because this one, like the top of her hair is shiny, but not the rest. And this one isn't shiny. So there's like two looks. That's kind of fun. And then we have like, what is she like? Lagoon creature or something. <laughs> But she's super pretty and she also has a bit of a metallic on her. And then we have these really cute um, stamp stickers. And then we have the sticker sheet as well. So you can like go through a whole like planner theme and like decorate everything up with these. So that is everything from the October Patreon box from Sonia. Um, I'm about to actually pick up the November one in the mail. So right after this clip will be the November box. <laughs> so enjoy. So I got my second Sonia Stegeman Patreon bundle in the mail. I thought I'd just put it on after the, under the, after the October one. This is the November one. Um, and I've actually, I think it's just, just softly in there. <laughs> I think I've, I've actually um, canceled, oh. That got stuck up my nail and ruined that ribbon. Oh well. <laughs> Let's just take that out. What I was saying, um, I decided just to, I really wanted the Monster High stuff from last month and then I really liked the look of this theme but not so much December so I, I cancelled it before that. But let's get into this theme. It looks like it's a ghosty um, masquerade of butterflies and that looks really cool. So the first item here we have here are some earrings. Uh, I'm not going to open them because I don't have pierced ears anymore. I've, they've been pierced like four times and they just don't heal. So I've given up on them. I wear clip-ons. So I always find these kind of earrings kind of disappointing because they're always pierced. Um, and there's never an option to be like, can I please have clip-ons? So... I don't know. I'm disappointed in those, but oh well. What can you do? I guess most people have pierced ears, so it doesn't matter. And then we have a wash, a stamp washi here with all of the designs from the set. And it's like a black wash, uh, a black stamp, which looks really cool. So that is fun. And then you always get a wax seal, which this one has a beautiful moth and moon and stars and I love like the blue marble in it. We also got a notepad with a ton of pages. It's just this beautiful, um, just a little notepad but it's so beautiful. I love the blue butterflies. You guys know if you've seen my art lately, I've been loving butterflies so <laughs> this artist is partially as to blame that. like because hers are beautiful and she loves butterflies too. And then we have a beautiful bookmark here with more of her designs. So pretty. It's a bit thin and flimsy, but that might, but it still feels like glossy. So it's not too bad. Bit thin, but it might be good in books, you know, not to be too thick. But that is a beautiful design with a beautiful, like, silvery blue tassel like it's not a super bright blue so love that and then we got our paper items in here so you can see that washi in use 
really cool. <laughs> So I'll say um, I'm holding these because even though they're from her Patreon, she puts her overstock on her Etsy shop, which I do have linked below, although I also have linked her Patreon in case you want to join up. But let's have a look at the big item first. This is the A5 print, and oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I think she's definitely been inspired by like Crimson Peak, which is a very beautiful film, but I didn't like it, so... <laughs> um, but this print is amazing, like, oh, and it's on that, like, NARS packaging kind of feel. I definitely want to do a setup with these stickers uh, in the future because they're beautiful. So I guess my 2024 and my 2025 are set <laughs> in my planner world. And then here is the journaling card size with uh, a hollow foil on it. So beautiful. Love that. Look how beautiful this woman is. Ugh. Gorgeous. And then we have her little collectible thank you card. So pretty. And then she says thank you for the support. And then we have two vinyls. Which feel very matte and nice. Love those. And then we have a stamp sticker sheet with some white and black stamps. And finally, this is a really cool thing, like, um, I'll open it to show you. So this is a, a transparent sticker sheet with their backing. Aha! So you have the beautiful drawing of the desk. And then you could put these stickers over the top and make your own little scene and put things like put the chair there or you could put it here if you want to or like there or and you could put things like on the desk i feel like this sticker like it should be on the floor but you could put the typewriter on the desk and you could put the items just so cool such a cool concept or you could just use these separately like they don't have to be on the backing so that is the November package from Sonia Stegman, definitely one of my favorite current artists out there right now. Um, I'm always on the lookout to see what her next themes are. But yeah, I have a little bit of mail from Caress Press. And so first we have a bunch of foil bundles. This is the mistletoe bundle. And I picked it up in silver. She had a fun, sparkly, bright green. Hello. I think I got two silver and two gold because I thought they would be more usable in the future. But I'll show you the gold. Um, you've probably already seen this because a bunch of this stuff in this haul, <laughs> I'm getting in November and I'm going to use it through December, but look how beautiful. Like the mistletoe leaves are just so pretty. And then with the sparkles. I just love it. And then we have the second page. This bow is really pretty. I love like the ribbon style bow. We have some holly in the sidebar and in the deco. Then that new page, which I'm loving, I just use this, so uh, this type of foil bundle recently, and I really love it. So that is the mistletoe bundle from Caress Press. I feel like this would be perfect for like, um, more like classy, modern, farmhousey kind of Christmas kits. Um, but I feel like this would also work in winter as well. Um, I don't know if it just wasn't in Sparkly Hollow or I didn't, just didn't get it, but I feel like this hollow or even the silver would be pretty with winter kits. Then she released her 2023 dated inserts and I'm so excited. And she also reformatted her monthly kits. 
um, they still fit in here and still fit in the standard size, so they won't fit in print pression or a or, or Estelle. Um, but they will fit in standard monthlies. But the cool thing I thought is that she brought these foiled um, months, and you can get them just a month, or you can get it with the Monday through Sunday. And now you can buy her monthlies. And I just picked up my New Year's Eve art because I wasn't sure if I was going to use it for New Year's Eve or not. It depends on if this band I'm seeing cancels or not. Um, but now you can buy these either like labeled with the month and the days or just without the days. Anyway, so now it comes without the days. So once you put it in, you can go and label it yourself. And I've decided. Even though these are dated inserts, I've already done this. Um, just trying to think if I'm going to put this in my hole or in my uh, 2023 setup. No, I think we'll go through the inserts when I do my setup um, and then, so you would have already seen these during Plymouth if you watched my 23, 2023 setup. I just want to say that I got these in this package, so I'll show you those. I would have already shown you these. So I'll just go through this monthly kit. <laughs> but now, so you can actually like, um, what I want to do, even though they're dated, I am going to um, change them all to a Monday start because I just, my brain doesn't work in a Sunday start in the monthly. <laughs> um, I feel like it's kind of an American thing. Um, I don't know, at least it wasn't in Australia or Britain, so. Um, I'm going to redate the, all of the monthlies in here to Monday start. So first of all, I picked up like a Champagne Lights Glittery Gold for January to go with this kit. I thought that'd be perfect. And then I got this one completely like undated and a month and undated. <laughs> so here you have like the top box, you have the payday flags, and she has these new like little boxes um, that don't go full the full width. So that'll be nice to get a bit more variety in the monthly spread. And then this goes across the other top and another PA flag. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's still five PA flags, which is great. Because sometimes you have five weeks if you're weekly paid, which I am. And sometimes there's only four weeks and then I can use the fifth one for my partner's payday. And then... Oh, I should say that um, unlike what I've been doing forever, I usually buy premium map from Caress Press, but I, this time I bought it in Glossy. So I'm going to do all my monthlies in Glossy this year, and I'm going to be doing all of them with this to make the Monday start. Anyway, <laughs> um, I, you know, she pretty much has the same paper as Scribble Prints Co., so if you wanted to know what it's like, it's like that. It's very soft and smooth and not like, it's a little bit of squeak, but not really. Um, and then we have like decorative full boxes and some more like proper wide labels. And then we have a bit more. So she's made like the icons a little bit smaller at the top here, a smaller movie marquee. We have some square boxes and then her usual older boxes here, including some more like fatter little things. And then it also comes with, sorry, some deco, the extra painted flag, and the dates. So this will make it so much easier to redate them, obviously. <laughs> That's why I chose to go this way, because it includes the dates. And then some more decorative boxes. And then finally, you could choose a decorative sidebar or a checklist. And like usual, I'm going to continue on with my monthly checklist, because it works for me. So, I have the monthly checklist. But yeah, that is the monthly kit and how I'm going to be doing my months uh, for 2023. And you would have already seen um, this, these inserts. So I'll go through that in detail in my 2023 planner setup. So if you've missed that video, it'll be in not too far away because um, yeah, it wasn't too 
before this. <laughs> anyway, it would have come out last week, I'm just saying. But that is everything I got from Scribble Prints Co. this time. From Kovras Press this time. My gosh, Jess. I'm already losing it. <laughs> this is just a whole part. <laughs> Next, we have a couple of orders from Scribble Prints Co. So, my freebies. I think I lost a bit of a freebie here. There we go. Um, I got two of, when are the difference? We have Kane and we have J. Crew. They both have planes. <laughs> That's what threw me for a loop. But Kane's has a puzzle. But, so those freebies. Now 275 plus with a nice neutral and a really beautiful plummy kind of red or purple. That's really pretty. Then I got two racks of um, matte foil. So we've got, they're like the two opposite styles. So we've got a rose there and we'll look at this amazing shattered hollow. It looks so fun. <laughs> I love that. And then the icons that I got. First of all, I picked up one of the new um, Color of the Week bundles, which was the Glittery Black. And this is the new, two new sheets in it, which I don't think I've hauled yet. Um, let's just put it down here so it doesn't go out of focus. So yeah, I really wanted to look at this because I haven't really looked at what was on these sheets. So number 12, you got like double plan, planner, planner with a coffee. Uh, like a paint strip, open planner, looking at SPC on the phone, drill, paint brushes, holding washi, you got a paint tin, paint can, you have some tools, A plus like little graded paper, this is like a briefcase, we got a lunch, we got a um, chalkboard, so we got some school stuff, and shaver, and we've got like uh, humidifier was it and the audiobook was, is on the end there which I'm very excited about and then at 11 we have like sticker sheets journaling plan a stack the cute heart with the um, lipstick the nail stickers which is fun um, bouncy castle a boat bins the record so that's really fun having those extras but you know you've seen the rest of the bundles um, but it's super fun in the black glitter. And then I picked up a bunch of other doodles. So we have the drill hand as well. I do have a little drill, so from Ikea. <laughs> then I bought all these drinks are really cute. I love the way they came out. Then we have these cute little skincare creams. And then we have, I really loved this knife um, and fork on a plate. I thought that was a super fun design. And then I bought seven, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the audiobooks. So if I used one color for a week, I'd have it for the whole week because, you know, often I read seven days a week or a little less, I don't know. But if there's a week where I read every day and I want to use one color of these, because I only read through audiobooks. Um, this would be perfect. And I love it. It's such an adorable design. And yeah. Definitely going to be rebuying these. I would love if these came out in the bright colorway actually. As well. Or neutrals. Anyway. I'm just saying. But they're super cute. I love audiobooks. It's really helped me read. Because um, there's nothing better than reading with your eyes closed in the dark. Just saying. And then I got some character stickers. If you know me, you know, I'm, I'm a DC girl. Well, not so, I don't know. I'm not that, I'm not passionate about comics anymore, but I definitely preferred DC. And I only read DC comics when I was reading comics, except for X-23. But then Marvel hates their female characters, so they mess that up. <laughs> so I was like, well, I'm just going to continue reading DC, because they actually care about their female characters and um, books but that's neither here nor there that's old comic nerdy stuff so I was very very um, happy that Andrea took my request of some DC superheroes 
just to sort of even it up because there's so many Marvel out there and like zero DC. And we have some films coming up, you know, and then obviously they just announced James Gunn being the new creative director, so we'll see. But anyway, we got the Joker. And I thought, well, I really liked the first Joker with Joaquin Phoenix. So I might check out the second one. I'm not sure still yet. But, you know, marking the Joker stuff. And then I got Superman. And look, he's so sad. My sad little baby. And of course, we all know Henry Cavill is back to being Superman. And there's going to be a, a Man of Steel 2. So these came at just in time. I think... He actually announced it like the day these came out. <laughs> so I was like, great timing, Andrea. Um, he's back as Superman. And Man of Steel is like one of my favorite movies. Um, I'm not going to argue with you. I just think it's really good if you think about it. <laughs> um, the action is so good in it. So my little Superman. And then we got a little Batman, and I like how you can kind of tell. I feel like you could tell he's a little R. Pat's Batman. And these will be perfect for marking watching the Batman. And there are supposed to be two more of them, so I'm really excited for the follow-ups, the trilogy of the Batman with R. Pat's. I just really freaking love it. So I'm ready for those new films coming soon. So... Happy with those. And then I picked up some scripts and I screwed up. Because I was supposed to get the two reading two reading sheets in black. Um, but I think I was like looking at all these scripts and stuff. And I accidentally left it on gold. So here we are. Uh, so I did order them in gold by mistake. I was supposed to order black. But here we are. Uh, I'll still have to go back and order some more in black. Or I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with my reading. I was really enjoying having like the book titles in there, but unless I make my own script stickers uh, for book titles, it just doesn't work. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so, and I don't, I, like I want to be able to mark in what books I'm reading and not just have read. So, anyway, but then I picked up two of clean um, sheet in black as I was meant to so I pretty much used up this entire sheet already that I had so needed more then we have some foil bundles excuse me I'm drinking cola cola and um it's making me burpee so I picked up two of the mixed metal shimmers first we have this is yeah, it's silver and it's sparkly hollow. You've seen the shimmer bundle, so I won't open it up, but it is very pretty in the silver and a sparkly hollow. I might have to find a time to use this in winter. Like, I know I used shimmer bundle with <laughs> golden woods, but maybe I'll use it with frozen woods too. It's just a match made in heaven, honestly. And then I picked up the oopsie of the gold and the hot sparkly gold so it's supposed to be champagne lights but it's not it's darker but i think it has a really nice feel to it it's a lot warmer and this might be good for like autumn next year so i got one of those to hoard and now for some kits i got two of midnight i don't know why i think i was thinking because obviously most planners have the New Year's week at the end of the planner and at the start of the planner. But I will say like in one of my planners like janked up the last page of my inserts for 2022. So there's like a slight jankiness to the side of it like kind of a rip. So I was like you know what I don't want to plan on this janky page. So I glued the last week together. <laughs> So I've only got one New Year's spread to do for 2023, two to three. So I didn't actually need two for like, but the thing is, the fun thing about this is, it says 2023 and then the freebie, oh my God, I covered it up. I'll show you. So that's the second one I got with another doodle. Um, but the freebie, 
I did planners that also said 24 and 25. So I could use this for another, like again, later. I also don't know if I'm going to use it this year, depending. I'm supposed to be going to a concert, blah, blah, blah. It might get cancelled because their promoter went bankrupt. Anyway, so if that concert doesn't happen that week, I'll use Midnight, but otherwise I think I'll use it next year and I'll use the 2024 um, freebie instead of the 2023 box. So either way, it's going to get used. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so this is my New Year's Eve art for this year. I decided to go a bit more um, neutral and warm tones, which I think were very popular this year. And my blast off art that I did the end of 2020, it was also a home one, like I had a girl in a bed and there was a bit of a party set up, but it was also home as well with pajamas. But um, I did do a survey of like, I asked on Instagram, like what are people interested in for New Year's Eve? And again, being at home, <laughs> eating junk food and playing board games um, was it. So that's what I did. We have like a nice cozy living room scene. Uh, we do the fire going with the fireworks up on the TV. And then... Uh, we have the McDonald's flat lay, which I have been wanting to do for ages. I have this reference of it. And I was like, oh, one kit, one day, I'll be able to put this McDonald's <laughs> um, flat lay in. And this just worked perfectly. Like, what kind of New Year's Eve party? Like, this is one that you want to go to, right? <laughs> and you have, like, napkins with cheers and a happy new year, like, um, headbands, you have some like little celebratory things and lots of little confetti. You have like takeout bags and I thought it'd be so cute if everyone gets their own like mini champagne. <laughs> um, Cause you know you're just having a little drink, you're not getting crazy. You're playing board games and going to bed as soon as midnight's done, you know? So you have a little champagne, there's a bunch of board games here and then I thought you know it's also a great time to be planning and setting up for the new year so you have like um there's actually some little inserts here of um january like uh front page and then you have like a little calendar for the next year and then the bujo which are setting up your new year's resolutions and then you have some cute cozy girls who you know a little dressed up for new year's but not crazy and then of course you have the um the freebie is those extra years and I picked up the doodles and then I picked up the fashion girls just so I could have like an arrangement of ones I would like to use and I can if I use a bunch of them um, like one or two I can put these over the second kit but yeah so we have a bunch of different girls here I thought I'd do more limited um, a range of them but four of them I thought would be really cute and then yeah I love this. I haven't actually looked through this yet. I like how soft the colors are that she's put in here. And then of course you've got the pajamas and the floppy slippers. And I kind of loved, I saw this eye mask that said, yes, I'm sleeping. And I thought that'd be perfect for a new year spread. <laughs> Cause you're like, yes, I'm sleeping. I'm tired. <laughs> then we have like a treats, um, a treat board with all the delicious Fer Ferrero Rochers and things. And then um, this kind of goes with the journaling. So I've got like this little box full of photos like that you've taken over the year. So when you're doing retrospective, I thought that'd be fun. Little touch. And then Andrea put in these little donuts, which I think was from the neutral birthday um, mystery, which has similar colors, but these are a bit more like pink and sienna, but those go perfectly. I love the way these come out has like the gold glitter throughout and of course I had to do a bit of a leopard print <laughs> and here's some leaves here and some sparkles and stars and paint splatters oh I didn't see that she used this for the bottom washi I haven't seen this the release video for a long time <laughs> but oh yeah I was really happy with how this um, pattern came out and then you have like the mid nighty balloons and I thought it'd be cool to like I saw a reference where it has like 
it's like a dining kitchen room um, with all these skylights. And I thought, how cool would it be if the skylights were like filled with fireworks? So, yeah, I was really um, excited for that idea. And I thought it came out so cool. Like, it feels so cozy and dark, but also celebratory. So, and this would be great to put a little quote there or something like that. Yeah. So that's midnight. Is that what she called it? Yes. <laughs> um, and then I picked up the exclusive Vegas kit. Don't ask me why. I don't think I'll ever go to Vegas. <laughs> Maybe it's not really my bag, but I really, really love the colors. And it's super fun. And I thought it'd be great for summertime and something different for summer. Because um, I don't always have to go to the places that I use in my uh, planner. Like, you can do the traveling for me. <laughs> uh, plus, uh, Vegas just automatically makes me think of Elvis Presley. And you may not know this about me, but as a child, since before I can even remember, I was obsessed with Elvis. I always listened to Elvis CDs, watched all his movies. I listened to everything from the 50s to the 70s. <laughs> we actually found this old cassette tape a few years ago that, so I used to have my own little cassette player and it was cassette and CD player and I would like to, I always like listen to the radio and like recorded to the cassette or even like on the CD and I would make my own little mixed cassette tapes uh, when I was like five or six. <laughs> I just loved music and I was always listening to it. I'm like, oh, it's a cassette that you made, Jess, says my mom. So like, let's try this out. We were on a road trip. So we put it in the car, and one whole side of the cassette, on repeat, was Blondie's um, I Want That Man. <laughs> so this says a lot about me as a child. Like, My other favorite song growing up was also I'm a Real Wild Child from Iggy Pop. Anyway, so one whole side was just a repeat for the whole side, I Want That Man by Blondie. And then the other side was a repeat of Elvis Presley's one song, um, little Sister, which I didn't even remember ever listening to, to be honest, because Little Sister is not a big, not one of his big popular songs. It's not usually on the, like, um, greatest hit CDs. So, yeah, that was really weird. It was just Little Sister over and over again. But I loved Elvis, all right? And I will say, if you're ever interested in watching an Elvis movie for fun, because it's, it's just fun to listen, like, laugh at. Because they're so ridiculous. The best one is Clambake. Trust me. Clambake is amazing. <laughs> so, it's about... He's actually a super rich kid who's, like, son of a science and oil dude. And then he's going to a resort. Like, a Hawaiian resort or something. Um... And he meets up with this guy on the petrol station on the way there. And he's like a poor dude who's going there to like, his job is going to be teaching how to um, water ski. And Elvis's character is like, hey, you want to swap places? And you can pretend to be the super rich guy and I'll be the water ski instructor. So they swap places. Oh God. And then it's like, there's a whole film is just at the resort where like it's about both of them like being in the different positions <laughs> and like this woman like falls in love with him and he like knows it's for real because she thinks he's she's poor you know and then there's one bit where this like rich guy gets mad at Elvis and he's all like I'm gonna beat you up Elvis karate and Elvis just rolls his eyes and says shut up and punches him in the face and then there's a whole scene with a clam bake and nobody eats anything. Like they're cooking all these clams and they're not eating. They're too busy singing and doing the monkey dance, you know. Do, 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 clam bake. Gonna have a clam bake. Do, 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 do. Another fun fact about me, because this is just chatty Christmas haul. <laughs> Another fun fact about me is I constantly sing that. Clam bake. We're gonna have a clam bake. Do, 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 do. Just all the time. And then I, <laughs> it's just one of those things that I sing to myself. And after years of being together, Luck finally saw the film, my partner, finally saw the film Clambake. And 
I was spot on with my clavic singing. <laughs> and they were like, this is too weird. Anyway, I grew up loving Elvis, all right? So definitely check out Clan Bake if you can. It's really, it's so kitschy 60s fun. It's not set in Vegas, sadly, but he does have his Vegas stuff too. But that's what it makes me think of and I kind of bought it for that kind of like nostalgia. <laughs> and you know, Viva Las Vegas. So, it's a super fun, bright, I just love these greens and this pink together. And I think it'll just make a really pretty bright and fun spread for the summertime so I picked it up um, you gotta live life okay so that's why you have that so those are all the kits that I bought this time just two but you got a bit of a story time with it so apologies and before we go anywhere else I just need to show um, shout out that um, you can't see anything but these are clear um, hole protectors. You gotta see it there. So if you're using a fun foil and you don't have hole protectors to go with it, you can just use these clear ones and still protect your inserts. So these are on SBC's page under the hole protectors, so definitely check them out. Alright, we're gonna do some mystery stuff. So first I have Cyber Monday Mystery for 2022 from SPC. So let's get into it, da da da! So I drew this one, super exciting. And it is board game theme, or game night themed. And it's just so colorful and fun and just perfect for if you're having like friends over. So obviously you have like this scene with a bunch of friends playing board games or you know just board game life if you just felt like doing that um, having that in your spread but you know we got some fun people playing the game and I love how this one she's like looking over the cards like oh what do you got and this one's like um I'm not telling you and she probably has her cards down here in my mind like tee hee <laughs> not much of a poker face but anyway <laughs> um just so that'd be fun like bright, colorful, rainbow style um, cyber Monday, like board game. So we have like a different, I think you'll see, yes, we have three stacks of board games. So of course this one you have like a bit more ordinary ones with like Clue and Monopoly and live battleship cards against humanity. And then here you obviously have Jenga, some snacks. You also have a little bit of clue here, like the pieces and like Monopoly pieces. You can see some of the rainbow colors here. Super fun. But I like how it's like, it's back, the rainbow is on a black background kind of thing. And then here we have more kitty games. So like Connect Four, Trouble, Twister, Candyland, Mousetrap, Guess Who? And then here you have more of the modern games. So you have Villainous, Gloomhaven, Granted. I feel like I put a, should have put a Gloomhaven on this bigger set list of Catan because Gloomhaven is huge, but you could say that this is the smaller Lions pack. Wingspan, Catan, and then Ticket to Ride, which I know is super popular. So it's just like a fun whole like grouping of um, board games. So there's something there for everybody. And um, we kind of do the patterns like super... Um, I don't know. I kind of like went crazy with the patterns and did a lot of like scribbly ones, very painterly, very like, I don't know, graphic. So I like the way they came out. And I like how they all have more of a white background so they really contrast. And then you have the um, bottom wash, which is a rainbow and the like rainbow grid on black. Oh, and then the day covers of the circles. That looks really fun. And then you just have a simple um, living room scene here, which you could put a quote over the top. So that's fine. So let's have a little extra stuff. I haven't seen this at all, so <laughs> um, just the art. So you have the matching doodles and the green color if you want to bring that in. So you got like a bit more of a full rainbow there. The green is really fun. 
Ah, and then you have a bunch of different versions of this girl with the cards and then you have the three skin tones of the hands with Monopoly money. And that's so cute, like it's in front of like them on the board. That turned out so cute because I just drew the hand by itself. Then Andrea does the backgrounds and I, I love I love the way she did the background for that. Because it looks like they're actually like, she's got the bunny <laughs> and looking at everybody else. That's so cute. And in this one, it looks like she's sitting like on the floor on the with the table. That's so fun. But that's the Cyber Monday Mystery Kit. Now next, it does come with a full um, photo bundle. And it is a super fun shimmer in rainbow, sparkly rainbow. So you also get this matte label sample and look at that beautiful sparkly rainbow. Oh, it looks so fun. Like, look at that. And then, yeah, it looks perfect with this because you pretty much use these exact same colors in here. That's so cool. <laughs> So because we have the two pages of the shimmer boxes, the shimmer underlays, look at that rainbow in them. Oh my gosh, look at this page. That's so nuts, that's so cool looking. I love that page. And then, oh, look at the bottom washi. So, this would be interesting to see like what you would do with this bottom washi. Because, you know, you could do the bow and then put the, like, full glitter over the grid. Or you could do it the opposite. So you have full glitter sparkles over the rainbow and then the bow over the black grid. That's definitely a head scratcher. I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> um, but it's just so pretty. And I love how, like, the rainbow's actually mixed on the bows like it's opposite rainbow printing oh my god it's kind of crazy that's so fun anyway that is amazing foil bundle for sure i wasn't sold when um andrea said like oh rainbow i feel like rainbow never works out for me i never really like it but this in the shimmer pattern and then with these colors actually this could be a banger. So that is the 2022 SPC mystery kit. It's just so fun. And I know I feel like we're all getting more into board games now too, just like reading. So it's just a fun hobby um, game night kit to have. Cause you never know when you're gonna have a fun little game night. So that is Cyber Monday Mystery. Now I have um, January Mystery from 2023 from Scribble Prince Co. The first 2023 Mystery Kit and it's always a birthday kit. So let's get into it. La 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 la. Whoa. So this is another one that I did. I haven't been doing all the mysteries lately because I took a break from customs. But this one's real cute. Because I had to do the January mystery um, and this year it was a strawberry theme and it's just so bright and fun and just we went a bit more girly this time because why not it's very summery and pretty and perfect for you summer babies out there for sure though you can use these year round <laughs> like it doesn't really matter but of course we have a beautiful garden party where you're all sitting on the floor and you have like cakes and treats, chocolate strawberries and presents. I was very happy with my strawberries. Um, I put extra effort into them this time. And you have cake and pretty balloons, strawberry sh shaped balloons. And then the girls, so a cute little gingham outfit. And I think, I think they're dreads, yeah. I'm trying to remember what I was attending to draw. Cause sometimes like, Dreads and braids can, you know, get similar when you're drawing so small. Um, but I think I meant for these to be dreads. And I think they look super cute on her. And then you have like the packages and the cupcake and the strawberry lemonade. And then this girl, she's wearing the, you know, 
the infamous strawberry dress because why not I'll never own it so it's nice to have a sticker of it <laughs> let's keep looking this is all I've seen of the mystery so I'm excited you got the the really bright green in here making a pop love that oh a beautiful Chris a beautiful strawberry cake um, we went more of it like a Deacon, like a not so structured cake. It's more like um, whipped cream and strawberries and just a simple um, cake. <laughs> I don't know. This will be perfect for some quotes, which um, we do get in the foil bundle. They have more like a little girl box, although you can use it for yourself as well. <laughs> it doesn't matter. A cute strawberry outfit with the strawberry bag. And then we got all the fun patterns. I just love this red gingham and like this sort of, I don't know what to call that. It's not an ink, but anyway. And then um, I did like a, the hedge pattern, which I think turned out so beautiful with some little sprinkled flowers. And here again um, with the balloons, this will be perfect for a, um, a quote as well. So cute. And then you have this sort of extra um, green color here and doodles. Then you have the extra fashion boxes. So you can see we have like an alternative um, girl here depending on what you want to use and like the skin tones. And then the toolbox because look how cute her pose is. I'm glad she's a toolbox because she's so cute. And then you have more of like a baby young girl outfit here with like the little dress and the um my melody blushy little baby shoes that's just so cute little hearts on them but yeah and then you also have like she's an alternative girl too but um yeah love this one i'm so excited to have seen it in person because i think it just it's printed even better than seeing it on the screen and then we have a special collab extra big foil bundle because it's January you know um, Audrey loves to spoil us for our birthday kit <laughs> so first we have the birthday um all oh, these are all glittery red so exciting I love glittery red but um first we have the birthday uh quotes so here's some of the quotes that you can use in this spread so cute and then we have the matte label Look at that sparkle, oh, so shimmery. And then we actually have a collab bundle with Caress Press in the sparkly red with the gingham and the strawberries. Oh my God, look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely using this for this kit. And this is the new bundle star, which is awesome. So let's get the toolbox and the glitter headers and extra boxes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, so this is um this is a lot. This might be too much for me to be honest. You know I'm not a huge fundalay girl, but if you're into fundalays and you're into the sparkly foils, the sparkly red gingham underlay, it's gonna drive you insane. <laughs> I just know it. I'm probably gonna skip out on these and maybe pair this up with some silver, but look at those beautiful my gosh then we have these script and icons i love i've been loving these scripts and then you have the bottom washi oh my god that's so pretty i just love these like um confetti kind of strawberries in the gingham Ugh, such a beautiful collab we love to see it i love when maggie and um andrea work together because both of them are just my perfect aesthetic. Ah, oh, I love it. Look, look how beautiful. I can't wait. So that was the amazing January mystery. I feel like every year the January mystery is just not one to miss. It's just so fun and perfect. And it's like you've got your birthday kit settled or someone else's kit all done. And I just love it. They're always different too. So there's always something you might find and love. So that was the January mystery.
just the other week, um, Andrea released on SBC's website her SBC and Print Pression collab planner, a new color of it. She previously had Princess, which is like a more um, millennial medium pink. And this one, I don't remember what she said the name was. <laughs> I'm filming this before it goes on the website because she very kindly um, sent me one beforehand and I've been sitting on her for ages. So, but let's have a look at her. She's a darker, more cool tone pink. Well, let's have a look at her. So exciting. Oh yes, definitely like a super bright. Um, I would say this is like a Barbie pink. Especially maybe 2000s Barbie is definitely this pink. That's what it makes me think of. So pretty. So um, I think most of the SPC print pression planners, they're going to be sold through SBC, but um, Kane also sold black, white, and a light pink. I didn't get the light pink, I got the black and the white, but I can show you with, let me, if you ever got the Aura Estelle um, Blossom, that was the Scribble Prints Co. edition, you can kind of see the difference here as well. Is definitely a deeper pink. I think these are on par for like cool or warm tones. But yeah, this is definitely like a hot Barbie, 2000s Barbie pink. And it is so pretty. I love the, um, it has like a medium pebble on it. And we have gold hardware. So you have two buttons depending on how big she is. So let's take the protective stuff out. But yeah, so here we go. We have, oh, is it going to be in focus? So we have the SPC edit. I already showed you guys the black and the white in a previous haul, but here is this beautiful color. And I don't know if it's sold out already on SPC's website. I think definitely go check it out. Hopefully not, but the other one sold out pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, you can see how you can slot a journaling card. Oh, this one's been in here for a while. Super easy, and then this is like the width of a journaling card. You just have to cut it down, which I think would work with this card. You like cut it here, and then it would slot into these pockets. With the window, really cute. Or you could put like photo booth pictures in here, that would be cute. You have plenty of pockets. I think it might come with the planner piece journaling card, and I also got a um, Five week sample of the SBC edition planner filter, which is what filler, which is what Andrea uses for her plan with me's. Oh yeah, really beautiful. Rings are perfect. And really pretty gold. I don't know how wide the rings are. Um, but they look really nice. Let me have a look. This is actually my 2021. Okay. I think there might be they seem to be 30 millimeter. They're not as wide as the Aura Estelle rings, but still really beautiful and will fit plenty of planner in there. And it, it lies flat, which is really cool. <laughs> we love a planner that lies flat. And she has a plat a little loop as well. But yeah, really, really cute. Um, so glad this one came out because I've had my mouth shut for months now. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see what a beautiful pink. I think she's coming up pretty true, like maybe there. She's like a really nice matte as well in person. Um, but yeah, it makes you think of 2000s uh, Barbie hot pink for sure. But it's definitely cooler than the other one. Um, yeah, really beautiful. It's not like, I think it's a little bit darker on the camera, but it's it's not like a flamingo hot pink. It's more of a Barbie pink, like, and not like a neon. It's a really nice medium pink, I think. Um, but yeah, really beautiful. I kind of tempted to like try and do a, a retro Barbie um, setup in this. Maybe I could print off some stuff that's this size for it. That could be fun. Because I love retro Barbie um, 
illustrations like from the 80s so maybe but that was the SPC print pression edit planner that came out on SPC this month um, hope maybe there's still some in stock it might not be as popular as a lighter pink although I will say it is a beautiful darker pink which I haven't really seen from other stores at all so definitely go get your hands on it if you're interested and yeah love it okay I have my very last section of the haul here I wasn't quite doing sections before but I think I'm just gonna tack these on at the end rather than trying to blend them into the last ones so in my timestamps down below you would see that this is the second lot of caress press and scribble prints co but this is my last lot of stick and mail for this haul I'm so excited we just have a simple order here from Caress Press for the November Mystery Kit and I've got the whole kit. I think I got, did I get the girls? I don't know. Um, but I get, first I picked up three of the bundles that went with it. I'm hoping, she hasn't released any other four colors for this so she might not, but this is literally, um, so it's called Good Vibes and it came with the mystery kit but obviously she has overstock and so I picked up three because I love this kind of design, the retro. And this is literally a lavender hollow. Um, Andrea said in her haul that she gave Maggie the code for this foil so it'll go with all the extra lavender hollow that you have which I think is really fun. Like it'd be so great like if I use this with a like so this is size to caress press double uh, toolbox but if I use the SPC one I could actually pull in her lavender hollow toolboxes if I wanted to um, I don't mind the size difference I work with it but uh, or her scripts or whatever so that'd be really fun to be able to pull those in um, or her like um, like uh, different underlays and things that eventually <laughs> um, but yeah so I love that this is lavender hollow um, Maggie calls it purple hollow, same diff, so <laughs> it's a super pretty retro Y2K um, with the smiley faces and the peace signs and the cherries and the butterflies and the lightning bolts. See like my favorite Y2K thing were lightning bolts which they're just people just use them for Harry Potter now but I always love lightning bolts as lightning bolts. <laughs> I had a really cool like lightning bolt earrings as a young teen but anyway um yeah just in the little heart I love it so cute so of course this is the new format so you have all the extra stuff here oh I love this definitely gonna get make use of this in the spring and if you have a kit using my meadow art from this year it was like my y2k picnic art that I um, released like the start of this year if you're holding that for next year or if it gets reformatted at all you know you pick it up I think this would be a perfect match for that like both design wise and the lavender hollow scripts and bougie so yeah I picked up three because you never know you never know when you can use it so um, and I went with this uh, November mystery which I picked up in glossy this time I'm kind of moving over my caress press purchases to glossy instead of premium matte and her glossy is really nice it's basically scribble prints code glossy so you know what you're getting and super bright and fun so this is channel surfing so it's like a teen y2k cutesy like cute in a cutesy way of watching like um teen rom-coms i guess because you have um, legally blonde and you have is it drive me crazy or something? I never watched it. <laughs> um, but it's cute. I really liked like the colors and like the theme. I uh, love like the wax melted here and the pizza and this ranch dressing. I really like these ice cream sandwiches. Those are fun. Um, but yeah, I think it's really cute. Look at this beautiful um, extra color. That's a really pretty orange. And I like how she gives you the glitter head is so I could actually like incorporate this I don't think there's enough like labels to do um, two days but if I made this like a Thursday that could work but I really do love the theme and I picked up the 
Were there other colors to the um, 15 millimeter? But I picked up the blue. But I think it's really cute. Milk Duds. I've actually tried Milk Duds and I do like them. Australia we have Lay's and here we have Swedish Fish actually. Which is funny because <laughs> they're not Swedish, right? Um, and then there's Mochi Donuts which are also here and amazing. Loved that. I love how they're kind of chewy. Oh, and I love these patterns. Like this, these swirls, these 90 swirls, 70 swirls, the ra the rainbows, what I'm talking about, the, the flowers and the butterflies. It's funny because like as a kid and a teen, I didn't like butterflies, but now I do. I'm just, I'm embracing it, you know. They have like this dog with a popcorn bucket on its head. <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah, I love these colors. I might not even bring in the orange, to be honest, because I like them like this. And they have this box. Oh, and this bottom wash is so pretty. And so you do have um, those. So I probably just want to do the blue. But I did pick up the girls. I thought they were really cute, actually. I like the buns. This one's really cute. I love her, like, top as well. I think I really loved her with the good vibes. This is so well done, like, the shading and everything and the perspective. Love that. So... That is November Mystery, just loving it. I think, I th I'm pretty sure it's Sadie Piper and she's been doing some great, awesome work for Arrest Press and also in her own shop. So I love it. So pretty. And that is the last stuff from Caress Press for this haul. So now let's get into Scribble Prince Co, as you'd expect. I always buy from my baby, <laughs> my baby Andrea. Um, although I didn't really get anything of a Black Friday, and you've already seen the Cyber Monday mystery, so <laughs> there you go. Um, but yeah, so I got a little elf freebie, so cute, a little elves, and then we had two freebies. One of them was mine. I actually have stacks of these <laughs> when they first came out, so I'll add it to my purple pile. And then I have Andrea's freebie. Oh, this is a really pretty dusty pink. Not uh, pink. I literally can't talk today. I actually literally went out in a snowstorm to get this from the DHL guy <laughs> because it's currently a snowstorm on right now. They still came out and delivered this package, but he couldn't actually, he was on the road across the street from us and he couldn't actually turn onto our road because it was just filled with snow. So I went out there in my Uggs. <laughs> They're not waterproofed, oops. Um, but I went out there and met him like halfway. He ran across the road for me. <laughs> and we're just like, this is nuts, but thank you for delivering. He's like, thank you for coming out. <laughs> so I didn't have to try and get to your door. But yeah, so I was just in a snowstorm. But so that's probably why I've gone crazy. Also, um, half my desk is wax molds right now. So enjoy like once my I'm back from my YouTube break for the week well I think I still put up my Christmas plan with me after this um, on Wednesday as usual but yeah I'm coming out to you with a bunch of wax three wax holes and most they'll be long so purple it was a dusty purple uh, <laughs> and then I got this 75 plus freebie in this pretty light pink and then I got two racks because this is two orders um, and I got two racks this time so to mat both um, hollow and gold. Always nice to have some extra foil included. And then I picked up two of the doodle sheets which are the Christmas sheets and oh my god. Um, so I'm actually, today is the 12th of December so I can use these for, I can use this one I think for my Christmas week which is super fun. Um, but yeah, these are really, really cute. I do love pencil pink, pink pencil, pencil pink. Her doodles are just so cute. And I loved her new Christmas ones this year. I don't know, there's something about them that is really cute this year. She just gets better and better. Um, and then I picked up a color of the week, which is this really pretty glitter teal. And we have 12 pages now. I'll just quickly flip through it. You've seen these. You know these doodles. And these are really useful. Like um, this last week I dyed my hair. And I haven't done my hair in a long, long, long time. So I never bothered to buy like 
the hair dye doodles, which are right here. So I just looked through and found a color that matched my spread and I had a little hair dye sticker. So isn't that, that's why I love getting these because you never know which one of these will be able to pull in to a spread uh, when you need it because you just don't, you're not going to buy the whole sheet, right? Not every time. Then I picked up two of the shimmer bundles. This is hollow and a sparkly hollow together. Now I'm torn because you would have seen on my January kit lineup, which just happened. Um, but I'm about to, I'm going to film after this. But you would have already seen it, but I, uh, you will see if I decided to go with silver and sparkly hollow or hollow and sparkly hollow. So that's on future and past Jess simultaneously. <laughs> I'm confusing. Next, I picked up a second one of Zombina because I never actually picked this up, like a second one. And I was like, hello, I love this kit. Um, I might have, do I have a cross press one? But I decided I really wanted another Scribble Prince Co. one, so I picked one of these up. And you'll see next haul that I also picked up a second of Seasons Creepings. Because I was like, why didn't I buy two of these? <laughs> Like, what's wrong with me? I love these kids. So, I picked up another one of Zombina, and you've seen that. I used it on my Halloween week, if you need to go back and watch that plan with me. Uh, if you're new here, I do have a plan with me up for that. Um, and then I've got some winter kits here. So, first of all, we have Frozen Woods, which this is the winter version of my Golden Woods. Uh, who thought, I, I think it was Andrea's, like, you should recolor it and make it. It was Andrea. She was like, you should recolor this in like jewel tones for winter. Um, yeah, so instead of autumn, it's a winter one. I know there's some people saying that they think I should do spring and summer as well. But I don't want to play too much with this art. I had to do a lot of fiddling with the scene, to be honest. So I think I would, I'd have to do a whole new scene. And I probably wouldn't put apples or pumpkins in spring and summer version and not anemone are they anemones i can't remember <laughs> the name of the these flowers but yeah so i would change too much i think i'm just going to do other spring summer stuff but i think it worked perfectly turning it into winter and i decided to draw two new girls to go with it the little fairy and the elf with the little arctic fox i just thought it added a little bit extra and it still really works with um more of the rings but I think it could also this one's probably even more Narnia as well um as I know um oh my god it's the name is right there on my the tip of my tongue it's not Erica why have I gone crazy tonight being out in the snow surely I should put a video up today it's Monday where are you Alyssa, oh my god, plan with Alyssa, I apologize if you're watching this, but she uses this as like a Narnia kit, and I think it's even more Narnia now, because you've got like the followers of um, Aslan here, and oh, I'm reading Narnia at the moment, by the way, <laughs> it's my Christmas read, but yeah, so I just changed all to sort of jewel tones, I, um, in my golden woods one, I had sort of a yellow um, glow around the edge of the people and also like the apples but this time I added a blue glow so it's extra frosty and I just wanted something magical and also like I loved it um, and here's a freebie with the change the ring to blue and silver instead of being like the one ring from Sauron now it's just a magical ring but the doodles and I picked up the blonde fan because I honestly just love this toolbox elf with the blonde, but also I just feel like blonde goes with the really frosty. And I did my different, so I have three shades of blonde in my palette, so to say. Um, and this is my like lightest Nordic kind of blonde, and I thought it went perfectly. <laughs> so I kind of love that, including in there. But I thought it was fun to have like the dark jewel tones because I think it'll still really pop with any foil that you use, like silver, um, hollow, sparkly hollow. This would be really pretty with it, actually, um, or a snow bundle. Um, and I thought it was also really like 
nice in that a lot of winter kits are either sort of neutrals or they're pastels and of course I did a winter pastel after this one or oh, there's just not a lot of color so if you're someone who wants their winter be, to be colorful I think this kit has got you we have some I added this out of icicle pattern I just love the way that this pattern came out for golden wood so I just redid it um, and I love it as the bottom washi I think that came out so pretty but yeah I love that looks like we're color blocking most of the purples and bl um, blues here unless I just want to switch it up and make oh but I love the Thursday being the 15 millimeter as I said so that works out for me but that is frozen woods and then on the right of the spectrum as I said of winter kits here you have winter street which makes me 100% think of Helsinki or Oulu or pretty much any uh, Finnish town or city like it has buildings like this and you have like I know the black and like gray grid and stuff makes me think of like Nordic design I love it and like the snow here makes me think of the snowy trees in Oulu so you know I had to pick this up I'm definitely I think I'm going to be using you would have seen my lineup so I don't know why I'm talking about it now it'd be repeating but if you haven't watched the January lineup this is definitely in it I think it'll be a great transition for my new year's um, kit but I'll go into that in that video don't mind me but I had to pick this up I love this artist uh, for a long time <laughs> I constantly sent this artist to Andre to like bug her and I think um, the artist didn't always she didn't have the right kind of scenes and stuff previously but she's becoming like leaps and bounds of her amazing art style and what she draws and I'm just loving it. I'm so glad she's getting picked up more because I love it and hopefully you guys are buying it too. Because <laughs> um, that's also a big thing for bringing like new artists constantly is they, they need to sell, you know. So if you love it and you can afford it and it's in your budget and it's okay for you to buy it, I'm not, but you should buy it. Um, the freebie is the extra skin tones of the Uggs. Literally me going out in the snowstorm tonight. <laughs> My Uggs were my easiest to pick up because he was literally outside when he called me, but doodles. I picked up the extra girls because they're in here, I know, but I kind of really love this one with the tanned skin and the like light hair. So I might replace her for her. I don't know if I'm replacing any of the other girls, but I just, I love her. So I'm going to put her in. I might change her for her with the black hair but I love her as she is but yeah that's why I picked that up because I love that colorway and so this is yeah this is a much deeper darker more neutral kit but I think um well I know Andrea said we should use gold with this and I'm thinking about that there are like gold feels to it so maybe I will although obviously you can do silver that's like the more neutral Oh, the matte bronze, matte silver bundle could be really cute with this. Hmm. Well, you would have seen in my dying video. Oh my gosh. Show stress. <laughs> I just love this. Plus, I'm a sucker for grid. Grid, 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 grid. I love it. I love it. And this box is beautiful. I don't even know. If... The only problem with getting using matte bronze and matte silver is uh, there's not a lot of quotes I can bring in but that's pretty and then this artist again she killed it this winter this is cozy winter look at this beauty <sighs> we'll see how my lineup went because i i might have to i might have to put this in march but i don't know if i want to because snow came out so quickly this year like what if it goes in march it probably won't but usually it's like april here but I really want to use this this year too, but do I, I use my art one after the other, so why wouldn't I use her art one after the other, you know? And then, like, this will lead me into my colorful. I'm just doing my, like, January lineup right in front of you guys in this haul. Like, does that work? Hmm, I'll think about that. Oh! 
my alarm went off to feed my cat dinner. I'll be, I'll do that in a second. So let's go through this whole, another beautiful set with the neutrals, but this one's way more like green and taupe and these girls, I love them. I love them so much. Oh, I'm definitely using the toolbox. Like look at her. I wish this was me. <laughs> She's so pretty. Mm, the gingerbread. It's just so cute. I love it. It's such a freaking vibe. Oh, that's so pretty. Now for this, I don't know. There is an old taupe bundle, but this could also go for matte silver, matte bronze. Oh, but also just silver. I don't know, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You know the mistletoe bundle from Crest Press and Silver? That could be the vibe for this one because it has like the leaf, the leafage. <laughs> but anyway, oh my god, winter's going to be so hard to pick. Um, but that is everything for my haul and that is everything for today in the very last video of Plaidmas. Thank you so much for joining me on this wild ride. Um, don't forget that there is a playlist on my things. So if you go to my like profile on here and go to playlists, there'll be a Plaid Miss 2022 play playlist. So if you've missed anything or you haven't really watched any of it till now, it's all there in the playlist, one video after the other. So definitely go check it out. Um, yeah, so it's all there. So you can watch the whole 25 days in a row. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it and hope I've kept you company this uh, season, whether it's summer or winter or just nothing. <laughs> I know some people like where they live, it's just meh. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you get you, I kept you good company. You definitely kept me good company. I've been loving responding to comments and I know a lot of people loved the shuffle plan with me or Danger D stash. So if you missed that one, definitely go check it out. It was a fun little game um, and uh, I was a bit stressed, <laughs> but it was fun that way. I do, I, I might actually do that seasonally. So I might start saving stuff from winter to do that later in the year. So that could be fun. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to give a big thumbs up and subscribe because we've got a new year of um, videos coming. Um, I'm going to still try to stick to three videos a week, but it might also be just two. Um, and then don't forget on Wednesday, I believe, um, I'll have my usual play with me up for my Christmas week. But otherwise, no other videos the coming week for a little break. But then we're going to come back with January Monthly and Wax Holes Up the Wazoo. <laughs> I'll try to make those extras, but you know, um... I've been enjoying that as a new hobby, but I don't think I'm buying too much uh, from now on. <laughs> I have so much, it's going to take me forever to get through it. But if, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or morning or night or whenever you're watching this. Um, or even if it's way past December and you're just catching up. Thank you for catching up with me. But yeah, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye.